एवरीवन वेलकम टू द लास्ट अपडेट ऑफ द वीक 21 जून इफ येस्टरडे वॉज अ स्केरी डे लेट से इट वॉज अ टाइगर एंड टुडे वॉज अ टी रेक्स डे द ग्राफ से इज निफ्टी हेड ऑन नॉर्मल डे डाउन टिल वन ओ क्लॉक अप अपडेट माइनर प्रॉफिट बुकिंग अप अपडेट डाउन अपडेट विक्स वेरी नैरो रेंज थर्टीन पॉइंट वन थ्री थर्टीन पॉइंट फाइव डाउन वन पॉइंट टू फोर परसेंट दिस वॉज नॉट एन ऑर्डनरी डे टूडेज वीडियो इज फुल ऑफ वेरी इंटरेस्टिंग डेटा एनालिटिक्स लेट मी क्विकली गो थ्रू दिस डैशबोर्ड निफ्टी पॉइंट थ्री परसेंट डाउन बैंक निफ्टी पॉइंट टू फाइव परसेंट डाउन आई टी अप एफ आई इज जस्ट सोल्ड वन सेवन नाइन जीरो डी आई इज बॉट वन टू थ्री सेवन देर इज अ लॉट इन दिस डेटा आई कवर दैट निफ्टी एनर्जी वॉज अप यस्टरडे इट वॉज डाउन टूडे रिलायंस वॉज नॉट पार्टिसिपेटिंग टूडे टी सी एस पॉइंट फाइव परसेंट अप एच डी एफ सी डाउन एयरटेल वॉज द स्ट्रॉगेस्ट स्टॉक टूडे अप वन पॉइंट सिक्स परसेंट आई सी आई सी आई वेंट नो वेयर एस बी आई डाउन अनदर वन पॉइंट वन परसेंट इन फी अप एच यू एल डाउन आई टी सी डाउन एल एन टी डाउन गोल्ड माइनर अपटेक सिल्वर डाउन वन परसेंट ब्रेंट वॉज अप बिटकॉइन देर वॉज अ शार्प कट बिकॉज जर्मन गवर्नमेंट इज सेलिंग सर्टन बिटकॉइंस अबाउट टू हंड्रेड मिलियन ऑफ दम ऑलरेडी सोल्ड विच दे हैव सीज फ्रॉम समवेयर लेट्स नाउ जम्प टू द इंटरेस्टिंग पार्ट दिस डेटा इज फ्रॉम मनी कंट्रोल आई यूज अ प्रो एडिशन इट इज प्रिडी यूजफुल टूडेज वॉल्यूम्स वर एक्सेप्शनली हाई फोर्टी फोर थाउजेंड फाइव हंड्रेड करोड़ वर्थ ऑफ परचेज फोर्टी सिक्स थाउजेंड थ्री हंड्रेड करोड़ वर्थ ऑफ सेल दिस अमाउंट टू नाइनटी थाउजेंड करोड़ द नेट नंबर इज जस्ट एटीन हंड्रेड नेट सेल सिमिलरली डी आई इज ऑल्सो टोटल नंबर इज अराउंड थर्टी फाइव थाउजेंड करोड दीज आर एस्टाउंडिंग नंबर लुक एट द मंथली नंबर टिल डेट टू लैख नाइंटी थाउजेंड टू लैख नाइंटी थाउजेंड आउट ऑफ विच फोर्टी फाइव थाउजेंड हैपन जस्ट टूडे इन अ सिंगल डे दिस इज अबाउट फोर एक्स और फाइव एक्स ऑफ द नॉर्मल वॉल्यूम्स दिस इज नॉट ऑल लुक एट द एफ एन ओ नंबर फॉर एफ आई आईज सेवेंटी वन थाउजेंड थ्री हंड्रेड थर्टी थ्री करोड़ दैट इज नेट येस्टरडेज नंबर वर एट थाउजेंड करोड़ सेवन थाउजेंड करोड़ फॉर एटीन जून लास्ट वीक ऑन बैंक निफ्टी एक्सपायरी डे सिमिलरली द एफ आई आई नंबर वर सेवेंटी टू थाउजेंड करोड़ इन द ऑप्शन मार्केट दिस इज अ डेटा मोस्ट ऑफ अस डोंट फॉलो एफ आई आईज हेज एंड मेक मनी यूजिंग एफ एन ओ अ लॉट दिस इज वन ट्रिक दैट डी आई इज मिस एंड रिटेल मिस कंप्लीटली Now let me take you through Nifty's journey for that day. As usual, that day opened gap up, but immediately fell down. This is a daily first minute candle since last six or seven days. After that, Nifty was swinging up and down, but mostly with a downward bias. Around 10:30, there was a sudden fall, about 100 points in about five to six one minute candles. Then Nifty consolidated. This was about a 50 point range. At 12:30, there was another downward trigger markets fell suddenly this fall was more than 100 points then nifty consolidated again for some time around 145 suddenly there was a big spike followed by a very very big fall another big up another big down last two minute candles were ferocious for last two minute candles usually in the last five minutes most bigger players have already closed their terminals now these moves i call it an m right now for nifty in this whether you are long or you are short you are done your stop losses will trigger in both cases greed will kill you losses will kill you also even if you turn profitable by any chance you will immediately exit fearing a reverse move and you don't want a negative pnl yet again so you don't wait for your profits to maximize and exit as soon as you turn green so while losses are unlimited the gains are very limited in these kind of violent moves bank nifty this is one day's chart that too started with a gap up immediately came down just like nifty 930 it fell consolidated a bit around 1030 came a fall then consolidation up a bit down around 1 o'clock a sudden fall a big up big down big up big down last 2 3 minutes sudden fall so basically today banks were controlling both bank nifty and nifty similar charts indicate that sector snapshot only 11 sectors were up what was taking the markets up telecom atl primarily software 20% metals 10% transport and furniture 7% markets were dragged today by oil and gas aerospace and defense corrected a lot food and tobacco next followed by banking today there are only three stocks in the top performers household goods hotels transport infrastructure worst are personal and household products 
and integrated hardware and software. Aerospace and defense, everything down, especially GRSE 6.6% down. Automobiles, Maruti was up, everything else was down. Banking, ICICI was up. I have said that ICICI is the stronger stock right now. ICICI is a 90% zone. HDFC fell. HDFC is in about 70% zone. SBI, Bajaj Finance, everything fell a lot today. The index was down 0.2%. Construction engineering, budget buying has begun it seems, RVNL was up 5.8% but LNT was down. As a result, the sector was down 0.2%. Cement was down a lot, Adani Enterprises down, Power Pack was mixed pack, NTPC and Power Grid were up, the rest all were down, DMART down, the entire food and tobacco pack was down, the consumption stocks, Nestle, Britannia, Tata Consumer, Marico. This is a big sector down 1.1%. Investment banking 0.3% down. Motel Oswal bonus shares were credited today. So there was a huge selling. People had excess stocks. ABB and Siemens had another low day. Metals mix bag. Hindustan Zinc and Vedanta were up. Tata Steel was down. Overall the sector was up half percent. Note that metal and mining is the only sector where there is a reasonable comparison in the top 5 players and there is no very big clear cut majority. For example, in oil and gas, you see clearly Reliance is 20 lakh crores. ONGC is the next one, 3.5 lakh crores. Reliance was down 1.3%. The overall sector was down 1.2%. Pharma down, real estate corrected. Software and IT, Zomato was down, everything else was up 0.6%. This is perhaps related to the guidance from Accenture yesterday. There is something special about Wipro today. I'll discuss it in the next section. Today, I have reformatted Nifty also. The first column is for stocks that had 50% or lower volumes. Everything in the index today had high volumes. The second column is for 120%. Anything above 120% is said high. The third column is more than 120%. Most nifty stocks had astounding volumes today. Bharti Airtel 584, 6x of normal volumes. Adani Port 5x volumes. Look at Wipro, 0% change but nearly 5x volumes. Today, Bharti Airtel contributed most to Nifty's gains, followed by TCS, Infosys, Adani Ports. Reliance led to most of the fall, followed by HUL, LNT, Adani Enterprises, Ultratech Siemens. The highest volumes were recorded in Bharti Airtel, followed by Adani Ports, Wipro, ICICI, Grasim. Next 50, only three stocks had less than 50% volumes Siemens, Adani Energy, United Spirits. The highest volumes were recorded in Bajaj Holdings, Hevels, IRCTC, Jindal Steel. If I sort on market cap, then all the top stocks were down. Overall, 39 stocks down, 11 up. So basically, the correction from yesterday continued today. In Nifty also, 31 stocks were down, 19 were up. IT index, everything up. Nifty Energy, NTPC and Power Grid were up. Rest everything down. Banks, ICIC and Kotak were up. Everything else was down. Union Bank was up a bit in PSUs. So was Indian Bank. But overall, a bad day for banking. The volumes of most of the large banks were very high today. Again, there were patterns today. ICIC was falling till here, suddenly went up. Reliance I mentioned had a totally different pattern today. It was moving on its own. Infosys was falling till the same point. It went up from this point. TCS was falling. It went up. ATL was falling. There is a small gap up here. ATL already went up significantly about 40 points in the initial half an hour, one hour. HUL was falling. It paused a bit. HDFC was falling, it paused a bit, went up slightly. At this point, Nifty went up, Bank Nifty went up. The volatility was going up at this point already. Now, towards the afternoon, also we had patterns. ICIC was going up around this time. Infosys was going up. TCS was going up. ATEL was going up. HUL was going up. HDFC was going up. SBI was going up. ITC was going up. These are all coordinated buys and sells. There were huge volumes today. The irony is that despite these volatile moves, the net numbers for FIs and DIs were not very high. Now look at these falls. HDFC fell in a heap, went up again in a V. SBI, V. ITC, V. ATL slightly different pattern, but more or less a V only. TCS, a V. Reliance, a V, ICICI, V, Infosys, V, Nifty, big V, Bank Nifty, even a bigger V, VIX, inverted V. Where would retail hide in this graph? Now, if you think this is Nifty only, that's not the case. This is a defense graph, fall, up, V, 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 small V, 
cochin chip yards v data pattern v this is coinciding with the movements of nifty wix is reverse movement of course not towards end also you can call it a small n pattern every stock had same pattern at the same time these are coordinated buys and sells with 5x volumes now let's check metals as well hindustan zinc at this point huge spike vedanta huge spike bharat forge minor spike sale spike jsw spike hindalco spike and these are v's nmdc v tata steel v jindal steel v jindal stainless v same timing nifty 50 towards end of day also spike small spike 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 small spike big spike small spike all same patterns in metals defense nifty 10. beyond it i have not checked but believe me retail has no chance in this because you will get caught in both sides see this is bank nifty look at these moves where will you keep your stop loss now suppose you are short market is going up at this point you will have a lot of loss as soon as market starts recovering here suppose at this point you hit profit or you just become zero you will immediately exit you will not even wait for this profit you will miss all of this most people will sell at these kind of levels in fact they will reverse their position they will go long at this point markets fall they again sell book losses they may go short at this point market goes up again these are crazy movements the interesting part is that today markets were so well managed in terms of buy and sell that the VIX actually went nowhere my trades in cash markets no buys no sells yesterday i had bought a lot everything was down today i didn't want to spend any more money today i'll see what to do with the inventory next week fno trades today again there was a very volatile day overall profit 34000 no open position for the next week yesterday bank nifty there was a position in 20000 loss so this is a 27000 profit so effectively this is a 50000 or 45000 kind of gain in that position however it was not as easy when the markets were fluctuating this number at one point had become a 90000 loss after that it recovered to close at a 27000 profit so from the bottom of the day this was a nearly 1,20,000 move. Nifty was an ordinary day, no big hiccups, reasonable profit. This is how actually I should be playing most of the time. Few interesting things I would like to show you. Look at these orders, 225, 30, 34, 35. The price is 332, 342, 352. Within a space of five seconds, all three orders got completed so basically market was having a vertical fall in bank nifty context 10 points is not much also but still within five seconds three orders were immediately closed in fact if i had kept this around 380 also then that could have also closed probably this is what i was saying when you are in deep losses you just want to get your money out so i did not have the courage to keep these positions apart by about 30 40 points at all towards the end of the day i just closed the position which are open in reasonable profit I was totally done for the day. I was not sure what is happening because at that point I had not analyzed the data at all. So I thought I'll take new positions, fresh positions in the next week. There was no point in gambling. Markets are increasingly getting difficult for FNO traders. Now, once I have started using the proper charts, once I'm seeing the coordinated moves and these moves have been there forever. It's not that these have started now. I have started noticing now. So the increasing realization is it is very difficult to make money in these markets against the bigger players, against the bots, against the coordinated buy and sells the only possibility of making money is to align your moves with those charts but then you can't be away from the terminal at all there are two countdowns which have started now one is into the result season and the second one is for the budget so do start your preparation also what you want to hold on for the results and budget what you want to get rid of remember it's a coalition government the budget will be biased by the coalition demands in some ways there's a minor event next week also 26th when the speaker election is due I expect BJP will get the speaker from their side. It won't be from the coalition partners. They've already met most of the demands of the coalition partners. So they will be able to bargain a Lok Sabha speaker of their choice. Hope today's video was interesting and useful. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next week.